Dear students, you are welcome to biology lesson. Today we are going to continue our topic. Last time we have finished invertebrates and today we are going to study vertebrates. First of all, let's make a small revision. Invertebrates are the animals which doesn't have backbone and they make up about 95% of all animals. The first invertebrate was sponge that live under the water and it has got many pores in its body as you see here. Many pores. The second one was solenterate and it includes polyps which has vase body and this is hydra. And the next one was medusa which was umbrella shaped and it's jellyfish. Worms are the animals which are divided into three groups. They are flat worms, round worms and segmented worms. The soft body animal are, call, are called as mollusk. They include octopus, squids, slugs, snails. They have got soft body. And the next one was arthropoda. Arthro means joined. Poda means food. Joined food. Crustacea, subgroup of arthropoda, arachnida, insect, centipede, millipede these are subgroups of arthropoda spiny skins or echinoderm as you see here many spine they have got many spine starfish and sea urchin are example of echinoderm they live under the water and they respire by the means of gills so today let's start vertebrates vertebrates are classified into five big groups they are birds, mammals, fish, reptile, and amphibia. Now, now about characteristic. They have got developed brain, complex brain, which is protected by the bone. We call it skull. Their skeleton is invisible because their skeleton is inside the body. That's why you can see any bone of the for example the human the skeleton may be either cartilaginous or bony cartilage means soft bone for example it is found in your ear tip of the nose and trachea and they, they use their lung or some of them they use may, uh, may use their gills or some of them may use their skin for breathing and their blood is red as you remember from your blood for example bird and mammal are warm blooded and amphibia reptile fish are cold blooded now I'm going to explain them the first one cold blooded cold blooded are the animal that are uh, they have body temperature which depend on outside or environment what about warm blooded these are the animals that have constant body temperature non independent to environment for example the bird doesn't depend on environment if even outside the cold its body every time constant human body also constant when the outside is cold but for example the snake or lizard they their body becomes cold if outside is cold their body becomes warm if the outside is warm okay now let's talk about the classification or grouping of vertebrates the first one is fish next one amphibia reptile bird mammal here the subgroup of vertebrates The first of them is fish. Fish live in the water as you know. If they what if they live in the water, all of them must use their gills to respire or breathe. They are cold blooded. It means they depend on the water temperature. If the water is cold, their body becomes cold. If the water is warm, their body becomes warm. 
they can't control their body temperature they have got s uh, fins for moving for moving for turning for making easy turns and also they have got sometimes mostly they have got scales that makes their body move in the water very fast small scales as you see here many scales the first subgroup of fish is jawless fish as you see they don't have any jaw they don't have any jaw here but this normal fish it has got jaw the next one is example for example a uh, hagfish it's also jawless fish their body is cylindrical as you see here cylindrical they don't have jaw no jaw there is no fin but here it has got fin they don't have fin and they doesn't they don't have any scale their body is very smooth examples are hagfish and lamprey they may be parasite if any animal is parasite they live in living organism in living animal if they are scavenger they eat dead animals lamprey and hagfish are example of uh, this group in the bottom in some pages in the bottom of the screen you can see some link which you can find them uh, from YouTube there are some interesting videos I advise you to watch them as you see here lamprey separated from the fish which was sucking its blood and eating they are parasite it means they live on living organisms or living fish they take their food from other fish as you see here they are found only and only in salty f f water not fresh water hagfish they live in salty water also and they eat dead fish 